Hey guys, I'm James. And I'm Corwin. And welcome to this movie's gay Corwin. It's we're now one year old official. We're just one came. year old. Oh, and Corwin, oh no, with this podcast, it's like, what do we do? <laughs> what do we do? It's a year two. Oh my god! He's quoting the movie that we watched. Uh, Do I? I don't have anything to talk about from my week up front. Uh, Let's just get right in. Well, I I have a thing. We're we're year old now. Look at all the celebrated. I have no notes, so it's gonna be (laughs) great. It's gonna be great. I have a new notebook, and uh, it's fresh and clean, except for a note from college. Whoa, what's it say? It says the Pina process. It's about Pina Bausch, the okay. dancer. I, I thought it was going to be the peanut process, and I was going to no. say, what? What do we do with that? <laughs> it's what do about- we do? <laughs> it's about, it's Pina Bausch. There's a movie called Pina, and it's about her as a choreographer and stuff, and it's got a lot of her stuff in it, her choreography in it, and it's really, really, really cool. There's different dance stuff that she does, but there's one where there's a girl running and jumping on chairs, and then the, as the chair like falls forward, she like runs and jumps on another one and falls forward. Ooh, that sounds there's dangerous. There's one with a girl carrying a tree. There's one, a guy running full out and then jumping into another guy's arms. That one's cool. And then this is some there's some WWE stuff. There's people dancing on a stage with rain coming down and there's like a pool of water and they're like singing water everywhere. There's one where they're doing a dance on a stage that's covered in dirt. Yeah, this is all so dangerous. So good. Watch Pina. Remember when kids were just doing the Charleston? Come on, that's a safe dance move. Oh yeah, I was gonna say we're one year old. Um and also our one of our one of our guests that has guested multiple times. Also just celebrated a birthday, so a little shout out to him in the beginning. Warren. Warren. Warren's birthday. He turned old. Happy birthday. Yeah, shout out to that director that <laughs> Warren kept shouting out. George. Oh, R. yes, George. George. Uh, Harlan? No. I don't know. That's a comedian. <laughs> I don't know. I know it's George. Okay, guys. Okay. So we ended our first year watching another gay movie. So we started our new year Watching another gay movie sequel, and it just felt appropriate. It, they and the movie was very inappropriate. I, just absolutely, to let you know. they fulfilled promises of hey, the sequel be will be in Fort Lauderdale for spring break. Except Muffler wasn't tagging along. Muffler had a cameo in the beginning and was like, "All right, bye." Do we even need to say this? Like, it's them going to spring break in Fort Lauderdale. There's this thing called Gays Gone Wild, and the goal is to fuck as many people to get a prize. And the prize, I believe, was... A man. No, well, there was also a week subscription, which was also a week subscription to manhunt.com, and I believe a house in an up-and-coming to be gentrified neighborhood. I have no idea. I it was a very loose plot. They oh yeah, we're just pulling a scary movie or scary movie two or one of those where they're just gonna reference a lot of shit. But they didn't. The, in the first maybe thirty minutes, there's a lot of references. Unless we just don't know what was being referenced. Oh, we definitely don't know what was being referenced. Yeah, in half the things. So, so much like the and I licked it. I licked it. What was that? There's so, <laughs> there, there are many things in here that I'm just like, what were they referencing? And I will get to them eventually. I have a full page of notes. This hasn't happened on this show in a long time. What was the last time you had a full page of notes? Uh, let, let me check. I have literally maybe half a page. And my notebook pages got smaller. I think I also talked away from the mic while looking at that. I have half a page. And my notebook is actually smaller than my previous notebook because I had a legal pad before. Now I've got an actual composition book and I only have half that page. So my normal notes, I've probably got a third. 
no, that's not a full page. I just wrote some stuff on top. Like I'm looking where I, I wrote stuff in margarines. Uh, was this it? Did you say in margarines? You know, no, I said margins, <laughs> and it, I know it came out as margarine. Uh, the, nope, that's a <laughs> James mostly likes speaking. writing the fake butter. Oh, this is what was this? Nope, that's I no, that was your uh, episode of the Godzilla where I wrote a long ass story in the front. <laughs> We're watching a movie, and James is just composing a story. It's fine. It has literally been since the first, my first pages. Yeah. What was this one? Dad smokes weed. Oh, it was, uh... It was the one that we're probably going to watch again. Yeah, make the Yuletide gay. Yes. That was uh, the last full page or so. (laughs) This movie starts out with a Final Destination reference where they're having sex in a dorm room. Uh, we uh, no, yeah. we still don't. This is everyone's silhouetted practically, and Griff is just taking J Rod to town, and he's like, "Oh, th- thick me with that thick dick," and a mirror falls on his head and slices him good, or, uh, just head completely gone off. Then something happens to Griff. I don't forget how I forget how he dies, but. Bookshelf, maybe? Oh, yes, the bookshelf falls on him and he smashes. And then Carbonaro comes in and he there's lube on the ground, I think, that's next to a power strip. And that power strip electrifies him. And he his face is just covered in, in disgusting uh, scabs. Yeah, so it's them killing off the three actors that did not return to the sequel. And then Nico wakes up. This is played by the original Nico. And his mom is like, oh, it's just a bad dream. And then the three come in and then it's set up like Wizard of Oz. And in this sequence, they're brand new. And he's like, you guys look slightly different than when I remember you as. And then the mom looks into screen and she's like, oh, no, they're the same. It's not like. We got calls back from the agent saying... It says, (laughs) agent saying, doing two gay movies in a row will make people think you're actually gay. Corwin, that's what I was going to say. I wrote it down. I have very few notes, so I'm going to steal them when you're saying them, because I have nothing. So then they go to Lauderdale, cut, you know, they do the opening sequence and they're just having sex on the beach in cartoon form. Oh, man, YouTube would say this is for kids. No. We had a discussion about YouTube and the United States laws on Internet uh, YouTube stuff. It doesn't matter, guys. Check out COPA. Then we get to a a hectic. Every time I see that online, I read it as COPA. It's like, oh, that's a COPA over there. Oh, nice. (laughs) We wish. We wish this was a 40s law. That's back when you could, uh, I don't know. Call, just say like, oh, that lady, she has hysteria and you throw her in a mental institution. Guys, the 40s were tough. But back to the movie. (laughs) Oh my God. We get a hectic ass pilot scene of them flying in the air and just all within one minute. Perez Hilton, yes, Perez Hilton is in this, goes to blow a priest in a bathroom. Oh, they're joining the Maha Club. And then there's turbulence. And the priest was Kyle from the Eating Out movies. movies. And he gets bought one of the Kyles, you mean. There are Kyle from the first two. Uh, no, don't you mean from the second and the third? No. Oh, from the The first first and the second. And the second one. And then he died. In a traffic accident with his boyfriend. I thought that happened in the second one that there was a death. That happened in the third one. Okay, that's my favorite one, though. (laughs) I think. The third one is my favorite. I don't don't remember anything. So, during this turbulence happens, but uh, J-Rod was jacking off Griff, and then the flight attendant looks under, like, falls underneath the, the drag queen. The blanket and says, there's snakes on the plane, implying that his dick is so thick and so scaly that it's got to be a snake. God. Uh, you can get calluses on your penis, guys. At you, I know you can I'm, get scabs. And Jesus. then you're like, no, I'm masturbating too much. Uh, life stories, guys. Oh, my God. And then Nico's happy about this. is just like, ah. Oh. But when... 
Perez Hill and gets conked on the. There's just it's bonkers, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna plow through my notes. <laughs> You're not making it through a whole thought. Uh, yeah. Because I'm... <laughs> Press Hilton gets bonked on the head and then suddenly turns into Jesus. But not against Jesus gays. Lover. Against he, promiscuous sex. Yeah. Which, again, I liked... There wasn't any uh, gay wasn't, bashing in this movie again. Yeah. It was just all about love, but they were against promiscuous sex because then they go and there's so many men, but so little lube... In this whole entire Fort Lauderdale. That's right, guys. There's a lube shortage. You got to stock up before the apocalypse comes. When there's no lube for you. The fuck are you talking about? You got to go in dry and no one's enjoying that. Not the lady. Not the man. Not the man. Not the man. Not the lady. Not the lady. Or any combination in between. Or the... Man by himself. Lady by herself. Or the the non-gender conforming individual by themselves. Them and them. Or them and them. Like I said, anyone. You gotta have lube, guys. I don't care how wet you naturally are. Then there's ball sack Botox is brought up. Is this a thing, guys? Please let me know. I'm blown away by this movie. And By I'll- what? Wait, ball what is- sack Botox. Oh, I don't know. Like it to get the wrinkles out of your scrotum. I don't think so. That would make shaving a scrotum easier. Just pull it taut. Uh, yeah, but it's still so hard. It's, please, anyone out there, Harry's.com, make a razor <laughs> specifically for the scrotum. I just kicked my mic in exasperation. Um, I don't know. Just use a women's razor. I have heard those work well. But what I'm saying is it just you you'll go over it, but it doesn't get the hair because it's all it's just it would be like trying to shave silly putty. Y- you're not going to be able to do it. It's all over the place. It'd be like trying to to shave the dog in the thing when it starts going, you know, when it's in the cage and all the other huskies are scared. Oh, you're talking about the scary movie, The Thing. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, James? Oh, The Thing? Leave the dog alone. The Thing in Marvel, he has alopecia. He can't grow hair. Oh, my God. Okay, and then the Jaspers. These are my favorite this part is, of the movie. <laughs> this is why it's usually me with a lot of notes and you with nothing. <laughs> so uh, the Jaspers, we get Jasper... Jasper Chan, yes, they're making more Asian jokes, guys. And then Jasper Pledge, which I loved this person Jasper because Pledge. he had a, a shocker on his penis, but not like Dane Cook's shocker, baby. Because if you have Why that, would you say that? Dane Cook's shocker. Why would you say that? You guys look it up if you don't Evil. know what it is. Why would you say that? We need to start marketing our podcast towards college kids. Oh, my God. So, uh, guys, download our logo and start handing out the logo around your there, college people campus. Have, people have been putting our, our stickers up. Yes. Uh, someone tagged us on Instagram with a, a sticker that was on, I think it was on, on a machine where you get stickers. Nice. It was just, like, stuck to the corner. Yeah. Thanks for doing the job. We got a street team now, guys. <laughs> but I love the Jaspers, and there's Corwin said this verbatim. Oh, God. What did I me. say? He said, intense nipple tweaking really makes oh. you laugh, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, every single time we have a movie where there's any kind of nipple tweaking, James loses his shit laughing. And then. <laughs> The more intense it is, the more James oh, yeah. laughs. And back to back, we had the Jasper one just like, he like yanked his nipple and was like, Ugh. and then <laughs> <laughs> the next scene, uh, Lady Bunny yes. has this bra on that has like boob cannons, boob cannons that has just thick lube. yogurt in them. It's lube. There's lube in them. Uh, but it was too white to be lube. No, it wasn't. Or suntan lotion. No, coming out of the nipple. I thought it was lube. Uh, no, I thought... uh, it was intended to be lube because they were spraying it on. No, I thought that RuPaul made a comment about it right after. It was too white to be lube. I have never seen you... a lube this white. You can get lube like that. Oh, jeez. 
Guys, get a water-based lubricant. It's safer for your insides. I think you can get lube like that that is water-based. What? Yeah. That thick? Yeah. Man, you guys are going to Dollar General for your lube, and I'm fine with that. Remember, no, it's like stockpile lube stuff because it's meant to imitate cum. Oh, okay. That you put in a fake dildo and then you get yourself cream pied. I know those videos online, <laughs> Corwin. You acting like I'm some amateur. You're the, you're the one saying but it's too white to be lube. They were squeezing it out so forcefully <laughs> like you're trying to get the last bit of toothpaste and I it laugh. Was, they were squeezing it Lady Bunny was squeezing it out forcefully to make it go further. Yeah and it was funny is what I'm <laughs> saying. You're like it's too thick. They got yogurt in that. Yeah. No. Guys get yourself some yogurt. It's good for uh, antibiotics. Uh, microorganism <laughs> colonies, guys. They're inside yogurts. <laughs> the colonies are coming from inside the yogurt. Uh, <laughs> I am this movie now. It's making me just reference things that don't belong in a plot. And also just don't make sense. Uh, dollars and cents. You gotta do, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Yes, exactly. Uh, then we get a Brady Bunch reference that everyone does. It's the Tiki called Kiki now. Because we're going to have a Kiki. What? It's a song and also a party. Oh, that I did not know. You didn't know that? No. Oh, great. Well, you know music that I don't. I'll play it for you after this. I'll look it up on my phone so that I remember. Wait, where are we at in here? We're at 19 minutes. Holy fuck, guys. We're (laughs) actually making it. I was like, it's going to be 40 and we won't even be halfway through. Well, it's because you're just rattling off notes. I I have nothing to say. (laughs) This is a me podcast. Hey, guys, welcome. I literally... I Corwin does not need to be here, I guess. The very beginning of this movie, we started watching it, like, scene... Maybe scene two, scene three. I'm just like, I don't think this is actually a movie. Uh, yeah, he did and, say that. <laughs> and it just kept going. Uh, I wrote down okay. the new actors just aren't hitting. Guys, if you have Carbonaro, who there are was, some some moments that I enjoyed with them. Uh, it just I can't name them, but in the moment, I was like, oh yeah, okay. I, I think Griff and J Rod ended up hitting, but. Andy, this new actor, you I just ap- consider them different people, and then you and then you don't have any feelings about yes, it. Yes, but we saw the glory of Carbonaro. He was literally put on magic performance, and he won best actor at the Outs Festival. Which again, guys, man, we are pissed that that movie didn't get into the Outs Festival. What movie? birthday cake <laughs> i'm referencing past movies i know oh and that pussy grips guys remember hashtag it what movie was that assassination nation but no i'm saying hashtag that pussy grips meta Knight, it's top tier oh my god oh man and you better believe the best pussy that grips is the tier where the wedding cake toppers is upon because that's the top tier of the wedding cake that pussy grips baby uh, uh. <laughs> Heavens to Murgatroyd <laughs> Oh yeah Please talk about that <laughs> For the Gays Gone Wild They had a shuffleboard contest Where they were doing a slip and slide But with a shuffleboard um, and Pattern on it And lube And Nico is pretty much winning And Perez Hilton comes up And is doing his Jesus thing, God thing, whatever, his zealotry thing. Ministry. And he's saying heavens to Mary and Jesus and all these all these religious icons. And then it cuts to Nico and he just goes, heavens to Murgatroyd. What? What was it? Yeah, it's Murgatroyd. Which heavens to Murgatroyd. We saw it and laughed so hard, then we rewound it. <laughs> laughed again. Like, what did he say? Did he say heavens to Megatron? What the fuck did he say? Then I had to rewind it again and put caps or caps locks, closed captions on. We were like, what is this from? And it's from Snagglepuss. From Yogi Bear. <laughs> but Snaggle, uh, Snagglepuss yeah. says it. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you had told me it's from Snagglepuss, I would have been like, 
What the fuck are you talking about, James? What the fuck? Wait, you don't know what, what Snagglepuss is? No. Oh, a Snagglepuss, a lot of people, I don't, I haven't looked up on it, believe that Snagglepuss is coded to be a homosexual man. Oh, amazing. But I wouldn't he know. He talks like this. I wouldn't know that Snagglepuss was from Yogi Bear. A Snagglepuss no, made an appearance in Yogi Bear. And then Snagglepuss got his own show. Incredible. No idea what any of that means. Check Snagglepuss out, guys. He's like, oh, I'm Snagglepuss. Would not have known a thing. Uh, I have CDs with Snagglepuss on it. Uh, <laughs> but let's keep going. Sex and water. There is a lot of times like in a hot tub. My friends would always say they, my friend Jamie Niger Bickham and Sean Hook, they had a hot tub and always talked about having sex in a hot tub. And it just doesn't seem enjoyable because there's chlorine. It seems like nothing would be lubricated. You got to, guys, remember, unless. There are non water soluble. I know, but like those, the, I don't want those. It's bad for your insides. You got to go organic and remember, guys, stockpile that lube. It just doesn't seem enjoyable. Just like having sex in salt water or any water, even in the shower. It just, yeah, in the moment it seems great. But are you really going to ha- get your jollies? I don't think so. And it's so hot in the hot tub. I'm just going to disagree with you. I'm not going to go further. I'm just going to disagree. <laughs> Unless I'm not going to explain you take a water lubricant and you fill the hot tub up with that and no. it starts just Absol- bubbling. Absolutely not. It's no. like you're in Mm-mm. the the no. La Brea no, tar no, pits. No, no, no. But this tar pits, ooh, Absolutely it could be on not. Pornhub. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hey, guy, Pornhub, you can use this. Make a production or maybe no. browsers. It's like dinosaurs. It's furries, but no. you, and, and they're in a tar pit of just <laughs> black lube. And it's like, oh, I'm all caught in here. <laughs> I hated that <laughs> so much. Guys, I'm going to be a fucking millionaire. <laughs> you just gave your idea for free. Yeah, and then they'll come a knocking and say, we need more ideas. No, they'll just listen for you to say something else. It's stupid. First hits free, guys. Uh, I love the smoke and weed scene. I'm ha- almost oh, yeah. half. I am halfway. The, the weed scene was hilarious because they used like a, a little vacuum or a hair dryer as the sound effect for Nico puffing the joint not puffing just dragging just it just dragging hard. the joint and it was just so long but that fucking sound effect beautiful I-, I wasn't even commenting on that i was saying griff he's like what do i do with this and nico's <laughs> like you, you suck hard daddy and then he takes one that's little that's not like, what he said but what he said was hilarious and i don't remember what it was it was uh like shut up and suck something like that or relax and suck. It was something along those lines. But Griff takes one little puff and goes, <laughs> and then is high as fuck. I also found out, Corwin, maybe, do you know this, that inhaling marijuana, or maybe all drugs, but let's just go marijuana, you don't need to like keep it in your lungs. It's pretty much instantaneous that the THC goes into your bloodstream. The only reason you feel more high when you take a long drag and hold it in is just you. It's a head high. It's you haven't gotten oxygen into your lungs. I have no idea. So anyone who's like, yeah, oh, you pussy, you just friggin' exhaled real quick. You need to keep that thick white smog in your friggin' th- lungs. They're just being aggro. Don't listen to them. I don't know. I know when you cough, it you tend to be high faster. That's just because you're taking so much in. But I have no. I I don't know. I don't know the biology behind smoking. So what I should do is take a pull a milky tube, and then no. What what? That's slang for a bong rip. No, it's a milky tube. I he knows, guys. You don't smoke. And yeah, but I know all the slang for smoking <laughs> because it's funny. I should pull a milky tube, as I said, and then quickly throw pepper in my face. So then I'll start coughing and sneezing. No, it's from you because, you know, if you if you do a big hit and you're not prepared for it or the weed is super strong, you start coughing. 
So what I should do is... You know nothing. It's fine. Take a big hit of weed <laughs> and then smell Frank if I'm allergic to him and then I'll start coughing. That's not how it works. Oh my God, I should take a big ass Chiba rip and capture the Pokemon coughing. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a muck in there and you got a goddamn Team Rocket. Meowth, that's uh, right. Uh, you need Ekans. Oh yeah. One of them has muck, though, right? No. I could have swore a muck was in there. They have coughing Ekans and meow. Ekans. <laughs> Jesus. That's what Ekans sounds like. Name a Pokemon, and I can I can tell you what they sound like. Clefairy. Clefairy. That's not right. <laughs> That's a Clefairy who just took a milky tube. <laughs> uh, Pikachu. Pikachu. <laughs> Jesus. That's a. Uh, Pikachu was just at a hardcore show, Mew? just screaming along. Mew? Oh, you better believe Mew. <laughs> uh, Diglett? Oh, Diglett's like, Diglett, dig. <laughs> That's uh, Diglett doing a Jack Nicholson uh, impression. Bulbasaur. This is actually very close. <laughs> Bulbasaur. <laughs> That's a flat on spot on. Squirtle. Squirtle, squirt. Oh! <laughs> Why would you do that? I, I, okay, here's a very funny story. Uh, Nicole and I was talking, were talking about Pokemon, and then I brought up Squirtle. I was like, Squirtle, squirt. And then Nicole just gets super pissed, like in the face, not at me, and goes, Squirtle, squirt. And then start oh, spitting no. <laughs> out her mouth onto the floor. Oh and my god! Just and she's like, I did a water gun, and yeah, she she spat on our carpet. <laughs> this was weeks ago, guys. Oh my god! A twenty four year old went. Oh, twenty five is Nicole. Yeah, because I th no. Yeah, Nicole's twenty four. Twenty four. Twenty four. <laughs> 1994 will be turning 25 this year is almost 25. I spat on our carpet great. that person's age <laughs> as an adult thought that was a response. It was hilarious, <laughs> but like foaming at the mouth, just <laughs> drool coming out saying squirtle squirt. <laughs> you did it to yourself. Yeah, it was worth it, guys. Charmander. I love to. Oh, Charmander. <laughs> This is my Charmander because it's raining outside and it died and it just got Squirtle wow. squirted on. Uh, he killed Charmander. Yeah, guys, by squirting. Uh, we've Gross. got the water skiing scene. They're water skiing clearly on a green screen and just a PA is just throwing <laughs> water violently at them <laughs> here and there to the point where they're like, comically having to like wipe it out of their face that yeah. wasn't rehearsed guys they also um not grip andy was not acting like he was on a jet ski or on a yeah jet ski right what no water, water ski. ski not on a water ski and just kind of standing there whereas his scene partner was definitely acting like he was on a water ski so oh, that yeah. was fun uh, little little touches. Then we have the Virgin Mary uh, gets pooped on by a seagull. It's and a then, sand statue. Uh, sculpture. No, it, real Virgin Mary, guys. Came back from the dead. Yeah, that's right. The Bible lied to you. The Virgin Mary was actually Christ. Yeah. <laughs> kind of fucks up your patriarchal thought process, doesn't I it? I just had, with you doing that, I just had the, the impulse to throw this power raid at you oh. i'm glad that i didn't I because like, you were like you're just going too into it and i was like ah gotta throw i and i didn't so. i was hoping you were gonna say a cookie and i would have been like uh throw one in my mouth please even though that's disgusting guys no i resisted the impulse to throw things at you okay i'm just despite, gonna go <laughs> despite that terrible thing you were doing we had a terrible thing you think the virgin mary couldn't be christ i see how it is corwid no that that's fine it was the, the anger <laughs> it was the voice and fake anger that was 
throwing me off. You want to know what's getting me angry when there's a red hot party going on in your pubic hair? They had crabs. Yeah, guys, and the crabs growled. The crabs were were giant crabs that then turned into cartoons, which, guys, guess what? This movie's for children. No, no, Per the U.S. government, cartoons is for kids. All right. Uh, We then have vomiting on the dead. Like, they got to stop doing this, of accidentally having a son have sexual so you knew it was gonna happen and because both the the dad was in a costume and the son had like stuff on so that you couldn't really tell who he was and their immediate response to finding out that it was the dad and the son nothing happened they were playing around his and dad things were going to his start. butt yeah that that's sexual guys through a mascot helmet but anyway, oh hey, through anything, I'm gonna get that smell of an ass. I'm a millennial. <laughs> you won't smell anything through a mascot head. Um. Anyway, the immediate response to them finding out each other that's who each other was because he thought it was Luis because it was his room, but it wasn't. It was the dad. Uh. So that was the the thing, the bit, and. As soon as they found out who each other was, they both just instantly vomited. And I was like, great, dude, they're not they're not trying to sexualize it or anything like that, which is is a thing. They immediately were like, nope, puke. So that was great. Hey, guys, but some people like puking on each other. N- no, uh, but geez, stop the- <laughs> making things kinks. Uh, no, that is a, like two girls, I, one cup. No, but don't tell me. Guys, there's a kink for everything, especially armpits. Uh speaking from life experience uh <laughs> i also i you you skipped ahead a bit but i i have nico's robe is a look there was that one moment oh, where he- nico wasn't getting any and they were having andy was having sex in the hot tub and nico was just like looking on a lounge chair and just had on a robe and like a glass and everything just lounging it was a whole look that was nico has a lot of looks but that was the one that i was like this is a look. That was one of the things that I wrote down of what are they referencing here? I don't. I It looks familiar, but I cannot tell you off the top of my head what I, it is. Guys, please let us know. If you watch this movie and you know all the references, just time code it. Just please let us know <laughs> at this movie's gay. Uh, then we get a mermaid scene, which does come into play. But what's and it's- the... Mer- the Merman is played by Brent Corrigan, who is a famous porn star, gay porn star, who has a movie based off things in his life that Called happened. King Cobra. That we will probably watch eventually. Yeah, baby. I really want to see it. Yeah, it's a. it seems like a good movie. So then we know. get a dream sequence, which Nico says, hey, instead of going out to some bathhouse, don't you think you'd like a nice long dream sequence and i'm not even going to touch on the zombie one with andy because the set piece for this entire movie is a beautiful song a beautiful number about golden showers it i literally told james that i wish this song wasn't about golden showers because this whole sequence and the song are great like, I loved the the melody of the song. I loved everything about the song except that it was about golden showers. And the dancing was great. Everything was great. Corwin, it's just about, like, rich people showers. Now who's the one making things kinks, Corwin? It literally showed people peeing on each other yeah, in that baby. sequence, James. You can't even try to pretend that that's not what that was. I'm trying to scrub it away from my eyes. That pee-pee, that is. I'm just like a little otter trying to get pee-pee out of my eyes. No! <laughs> no. God! Uh, okay, then Nico wins. Uh, yeah, uh, we're almost done, guys. Nico, wi- we've gone o- breeze past so much of this movie. There's so much to breeze past. Nico wins the Gays Gone Wild, the, this competition. And the man who... Before we get to that, yes. though... Nico, when they're the final day of the Gays Gone Wild is supposed to be a huge orgy. And Nico, everyone's like doing the orgy stuff. Griff and J-Ra, Jared. God, I keep 
J-Rod from you, Jared, uh, J-Rod, go off on their own because they're like, no, nah, we don't need this. And then Andy's like, oh, no, I just want to be with, with Luis. Luis. So he goes off on his own, too. And it's just Nico. And we see Nico at the orgy. And he just looks at everyone having an orgy and then just steps through them, picks up the microphone or the, the megaphone and has this long speech and i'm like what is this heartfelt ass shit in the middle of this scene but what's the first sentence he says i don't remember what the first oh he says i'm an alien yes he he just goes i'm an alien and then has this whole thing and then he goes i remember the five words that i've lived by my entire life i am what i am and that's it and he he walks away and then all the the misfits so-called come out and they have an orgy with Nico. But that that moment threw me off so much because it was just, this movie has been bonkers, balls to the wall the entire time. And then just suddenly right there, we're going to have the, the lead just have some heartfelt speech about being yourself. And being an alien. It's... He's saying an alien as in he doesn't fit fit in the these these clicks and things like that. But is pres- I I mean like yes that's what it means. But he presents it with like oh you need to read the metaphor and the allegory because he is just constantly saying I'm a alien I am from another planet to the point where I was like oh I no he doesn't think- say it that much. But hold on. Oh, uh, but there, you think that it goes into them wanting to do another movie? Yes, in space. which which uh, I would like ten minutes to talk about that. <laughs> uh, for this competition, the gays gone wild. They have personalized fuck stamps that they put in this thing. So I would like to ask our fans. I don't want to ask Corwin. What would your like personalized fuck stamp look like? Mine would be like the visual epitome of tenderness. And what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Just whatever you think tender looks like. That's what it is. I think tender looks like a little flame because it's on my phone. What? The app? Tender. Oh, tender. <laughs> oh my god. So Corwin, they end the movie with Nico saying, Hey, he's an alien, so that means next sequel, they're going to space. But this movie came out in 2008. I don't think there's going to be another one. So it's called Another Gay Movie Strikes Back. Corwin. We, before we do that, we we missed one incredible part that had us laughing so hard. It zooming in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Nico going, or someone saying, oh, Jasper, always getting the last word. And then zooming in on Nico and Nico going, does he? Does he? And there's, I'll, I'll put intense music behind that. <laughs> and, and it's then, even longer though. Yeah, it's so long. But it's, as soon as he did that, I started laughing and I wish that he said it one more goddamn time. Even but when it was they... so funny. And the other thing, uh, we do have Andy pressuring Luis for sex and he's a virgin and he runs off. So we do have a moment where someone's being pressured for sex and their partner leaves, which is totally fine. Yeah. So don't pressure your partners for sex. All right, Corwin, we get the scroll. Uh, It's scrolling up on the screen. It's like recapturing the previous things that happened on another gay movie. But then there's a disturbance in the fucks. And you better believe... In order to stop this, Are you, we you're gotta go to space. Okay, okay. You're. <laughs> I was so lost for a minute, but you're giving a a play by play of what the the next movie would be. Yeah, and it's a la a la Star Wars. Yeah, scrolling. Oh yeah. Okay. The scrawl is what they call it sometimes, or the scroll. If you're just on Facebook, you guys gotta get that app that says, "Oh no, no, no! You've been on here for twenty minutes." But we see Nico and gang. They want to go to uh, space, and they're going to Space Triple X by Elon Musk, and you know, like smelling of a beautiful man, Musk. Here, they're blasting off, but guess what? They go into just a gaping worm hole. Is it Michael Carbonaro again? Oh, yes. Please, please, please. (laughs) 
Uh, he might be expensive now because of the Carbonaro effect. They blast through this gaping wormhole. I'm so sorry about the motion I just did, Corwin. Jesus uh, Christ. <laughs> and here, Carbonaro sees a man dressed up like Darth Vader, but, you know, like, it looks like maybe a penis head as the helmet and uh, his cape looks like a condom. This is all spitballing. I'm all improving this. I didn't, this is not written down. Wink, wink, Corwin. None of this actually is written down. Why did you say wink, wink? Because I was saying like, I'm kidding, Corwin. It is all written down. You and I, interior spaceship. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he was doing this. Then... Well, then we just reference, like, we just do gay parody on a bunch of sci-fi stuff. Uh, like, maybe the the worms in Dune, they're big old floppy dicks. <laughs> uh, the worms from Tremors, they're big old floppy dicks. Uh, what's another sci-fi thing? Ooh, we could put Jason X. It's Jason Triple X. And Predators. Oh, Predators. It's Alien versus Predator. Holy shit. It's these <laughs> misfits against Predators, and they could be real-life Predators of, like, them just, like, oh, I want to fuck you so hard. And then they're, like, uh... God, I hated that. And then they 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 whip out blasters, and it, it blasts uh, penicillin at them. It's, like, get away. That's to, like, uh, it's, like, what's the disease that that helps with? It's a STD, STI. What's the thing, Corwin? Chlamydia, possibly? Hey, guys, hashtag STI. <laughs> Let this movie's gay know. Please don't do that. No. Just uh, just assume I have, me. I have searched that. And yeah, that's the movie. And, oh, right, and then make in, it happen. Then in the end, we uh, because he's in a costume, it's, it's actually Michael Carbonaro's dad that we've been seeing in all these movies. And it's like, oh, son, oh, oh, I didn't know that was you. Uh, I'm sorry for fighting you. And uh, I guess, like, the the lightsaber could be, like, a, a rave glow stick. <laughs> Just a, a giant glow stick. That would actually be funny. Yes. Okay. Oh, and, of course, Jason Triple X. I'm doing, like, the DXX, but not the DX chop. Suck it, baby. He has the violator instead of a machete. <laughs> What a throwback. Fade to black. Oh my god. Uh yeah. Yeah, okay. Corwin, would you recommend this movie? I you know, it's uh I I think mm. if we watched this one first, I would have enjoyed it more, but I think on its own it's if a good movie. You want movie. to watch softcore porn. Oh, that's one thing I forgot to bring up. This, so in the first movie, yes, it was just obscene sex stuff, but it was all comedic. This, I was waiting for something funny to happen. This and, was just sex. Yes. It, it, I'm not entirely sure if some of those actors weren't actually having sex. Oh, you got to get it in. Not the main ones, but some of the background oh, yeah. stuff. I'm like, what? The only comedic sex sh sexual act that happened was him licking the butt and getting duty on it Blah. on his lip it was gross yeah, guys. there are some very gross things that happen so if you don't like gross things watching them don't watch this movie and if you want to watch softcore porn sure go ahead and watch this movie if you're wanting to watch something funny just watch the first one because if you want to watch softcore porn if you watch something that's funny that's still raunchy watch the first one Watch but, Heg Ray Art, Serena, Sex Ed, Cucumber Demonstration of an Orgasm. This one's just straight up sex. Yeah. That's what it is. All right. I've been Corwin. Just <laughs> I would recommend it, guys. <laughs> it's, or check out the soundtrack. The soundtrack is fucking great. The soundtrack's great. good. I actually know that, so Lady Bunny did a song for it. Uh, fucking Perez Hilton did a song. Um, but, but listen to RuPaul, Golden Sea. Oh, yeah. Goal, yeah, whatever that song was, you can listen to it. It's a great, just imagine it's not about what it's about. Um, I know RuPaul and Lady Bunny also did a song for it, but it got cut, and that one is on RuPaul's one of RuPaul's albums. So, yeah, it's got it. The music's pretty great. They also had a lot of sponsors from uh, gay sex industry. Yeah, you so, gotta have sponsors, and they had a you know. Famous gay porn star in there. If anyone is trying to sponsor a, a city scooter person, uh, I'm open to sponsors. I it's the only 
form of travel that I use. Sponsor me. Um, I go to Mariano's a lot. (laughs) Anyway... Plug, yeah, baby. Again, happy birthday to to Warren. Uh, sorry, your birthday was announced in this very raunchy movie. Uh, anyway, uh, my theater company, Sawbox Theater Collective, which I was in a show with, and Warren was in a show. That's how we know each other. They are doing a new show in January. Please follow us on Twitter, Instagram, all that. Sawbox Theater. Um, all the info is in the description, like always. Go see the show. It's really good. Um, you may see me there. I usually do house stuff, so I will probably be there a few days. Also, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at This Movie's Gay and me on Twitter and all that stuff at Core Winning. Yeah, and that's baby. it. That's, that's my plugs. Also, the new Star Wars game was good. I told Nicole and James that I was getting it to play it just because it had a Twink Jedi, and I'm not wrong. And that's all I want to say about that. Nice. Did you already beat it? I'm I am working on getting a hundred percent before I beat it. Okay. So like I'm going back to planets as when I can to be like, all right, one hundred percent this fucking planet. And I've nice. I'm, I'm almost done with it. I'll probably beat it today, to be honest. Woo! Hey guys, speaking of video games, check out my YouTube series, mostly playing PlayStation. It's where I'm playing PlayStation games with friends and sometimes by myself. Go to the mostly speaking Sentai. YouTube channel for that. And speaking of Mostly Speak and Sentai, check out my other podcasts such as What the Hell Mouth, Mostly Speak and Sentai, and Hit It and Crit It. You can find out information about those and more, such as my music under Marshland Monster at MLMPod.com. And also, if you want to donate, go to MLMPod.com forward slash donate. We'll give you a shout out on many episodes. Yes. I think that's it. Yeah, that was that was it. I I had no no notes. Barely a movie. In my opinion, mostly yeah. a porn. This is going to be easy because Corwin barely talked to, I mean, easy to edit. I, I I did spend a lot of times talking away from my microphone like a terrible microphone person, so. It came in clear on mine. Great. Uh, yeah, anyway, I've been Corwin. I've been James. Bye. Bye. This has been a Marshland Media production produced by James McCullum. For more content, please visit mlmpod.com. To support our network and have access to exclusive podcasts, head over to patreon.com forward slash mlmpod and sign up today.